Hey everybody and welcome to my shop. This week I want to tackle a problem that I've been thinking about for quite some time. Let me show you. So I stand here by the drill press, I try to drill and then I need to let go of this piece, put some cooling fluid here, put it back and then proceed. And this is too much interruption. I want to have something that's more automated. So this is the heart of the project. It is a windshield wiper fluid pump. <laughs> Very complicated word. We're going to use the pump. Not so much the tank, it doesn't look nice. I think I have something better for that. So the next step is to find materials in my shop. Let's go. Jawohl. Flexible. I think this looks so cute. If you could fill in the fluid here and then have a little... No, no, no! <laughs> and then have a little arm, you know? Almost feels like a robot, like a Wally or something. I think this would be cute, but probably not very practical because all the dust will fall into it. And then the pump, we would need a filter for the pump. This might be cooler. Maybe there's another construction where the motor sits in and you can always see how much fluid you have and easily refill it. That's pretty nice. But the problem is ceramics and glass, it's impossible to work with. I can't even drill a hole into it. So it's always tricky. You kind of set yourself up for failure when you want to work with glass. The last thing that really piqued my interest is this coffee maker. The form factor is nice, the size is good. If I can fit the motor in here and have the fluid down here, this would be pretty perfect. Hoffentlich frittieren wir das jetzt nicht direkt. That's probably why somebody threw this away. <laughs> it's so disgusting. You definitely have to clean this, otherwise all this stuff will end up in the pump. Will this fit? I think so. I mean, it's even almost the same length. Oh, what is This is irgendwie locker. Geil, okay. This is what, what is holding this in place. We don't even have to destroy it. I think we can leave it intact. Boah. Nee. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely saving this. This could be something like a mini boombox speaker protection. I don't know, but it looks nice. Let's keep this. From a size factor, will this close now? Is this, oh. Oh, I hope it fits. Huh? Yes. 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 I mean, it actually fits. <laughs> I can't believe this fits. Oh my God. <laughs> That's perfect. It's almost too perfect. I'm suspicious. Okay. This is the problem. The pump cannot be positioned right in the middle because then there would be no room for the hose. So we cannot use this, unfortunately, but we will save it for a different project. Instead of using the funnel to hold the pump, we could use these clamps. They are a little bit too big. wants to come in. Come on. <laughs> it's fine. Good to care. Diddy. Is it too cheesy? 
If it comes out with a coffee would come out, we'll see. We'll see how it all looks, but so far another problem is solved. Now I just need to drill a hole so we can attach the clamp. <laughs> I think we should test the function, see if it, if it actually works. Maybe the cutting fluid is too thick for the pump. That might be a big setback. Let's test it. Okay, let's mix some cutting oil. I go with one part water, one part whiskey, no, one part oil. It's the Bellasol Universal Oil. If you mix it with water, it makes excellent cutting fluid. All right. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> okay, we need a, first of all, that's excellent. It works, but I want it to be more precise, like a little tsst. So let's see if we can, just this? You think, or should it, does it have to be? Oh, no way. <laughs> Okay, oh, wow. that is impressive. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Look at Smudo, he's not impressed. <laughs> this is so guy. It's okay, it's not as explosive. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. No, it's, it's actually pretty actually, good. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, if, don't, uh, don't call it a bug, call it a feature, right? Yeah, I think it's a feature. <laughs> so the problem is, it all needs to be flexible because the table might move, the work pieces might be different. I know I always, need the cutting fluid somewhere in this area stop <laughs> so i'm thinking maybe we can have something like something magnetic i think i think i have something hold on let me show you it's a magnet that you can turn on and off not even sure what it's called but see now it's not magnetic now you can turn it on and you can't even lift it like these things oh, they are so strong and you can attach stuff. This is called a Haim joint and it has an attachment down here. And this is flexible. You see that? It's like a ball bearing that is flexible in all directions. This is great for bicycle modification stuff. I build a lot of um, trailer attachments with this. This is, you need, you need these. <laughs> As much as I want this to work, and as much as I want to be done with the project, it doesn't work like this. We need more friction uh, in both ways. This needs to be sturdier, and also this needs to be sturdier. Okay, weirdly, this doesn't help. <laughs> Haha, ha. that's gonna feel better. That's it. <laughs> Problem number two is this. I don't know what to do. Trocknen lassen.
I'm surprised how well this worked. It was just one punch with a hammer and a little bit of varnish and this is perfect. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> it's almost too perfect. What? All right, so use case, I wanna drill into this. A little bit of cutting fluid. It's tropft halt ein bisschen doll, ne? I mean, I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. As much as I love that it that it kind of works, this is just a mess, you know? It's so drippy. I don't know, maybe it needs another like a stop, but how do you do that? Okay, good. Oh. Not good. <laughs> okay, for some reason this, this is getting worse and worse. The more I use it, the less it works, but... On the bright side, I think I did solve a bunch of problems and I'm very happy with the form factor. It's just not where it's supposed to be. So maybe this is like my camping table, a project that is very, very hard, a problem that is hard to solve. So if you have ideas, let me know in the comments. Otherwise I will fix this in some other video. Either way, I hope you still enjoyed this video and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.